Uh, Rolo, do mothers take away their son's potential to make their way in the world for their own benefits? Mm. This is a question I've gotten in the past. Uh, similar to how women take away what makes men attractive to other girls. Okay. I've got uh, very, I've had variations of this and it is, why is it that, especially single mothers, why is it that single mothers uh, sabotage the development of their sons? Why is it that they, you know, uh, this generation of lost boys, they were all raised by single mothers. And I mean, statistically, what, 42%? of uh, children, at least by my last reckoning, 42% of children in the United States are born out of wedlock. Okay. So statistically speaking, at least for the last decade, maybe two decades, uh, maybe, maybe you have a case. Maybe I have something to say there. Why is it that they turn them into sort of like pussies or why do they become what I call promise keepers? And no, I don't mean the Christian organization promise keepers. Okay. I, uh, when I say promise keepers, I'm referring to an essay that is, that I wrote way back in the day. And then it's also a chapter, I believe. Oh, it's in a uh, positive masculinity. It's in my third book. Promise keepers is this, is it's these kids who are like, at say like 12 or 15 or 18, whatever. They're, they're boys that are raised by single mothers and they swear up and down that they will never be like their dad. They'll, I hate my old man. He abandoned us. He was an alcoholic. He was a horrible person. He was, you know, a deadbeat dad. I don't know much about him. He left when I was a kid, blah, blah, blah. And I promised my mom that I would never be like my dad. And then they get to be 23 years old or 25 or whatever. And then they hit me up and they go, Rolo, I got a real dilemma. I promised my mom I would never be like my dad, but I'm with this girl and she's really raking me over the coals and I can't see going on. I nearly need to eject from this relationship, but I feel like I am disgracing that promise that I made to my mom because I, I you know, I, that, that, that promise and that dedication has, you know, sort of transferred or transitioned over to my relationships with my, with the girlfriends that I would eventually like to become my wives. And now I have gone extremely the other way so my dad was a son of a bitch but now i am a doormat because i just absolutely did everything you know humanly possible not to be like my old man that's a promise keeper i promised my mom i would not be like my old man and then they suddenly realize well maybe their dad actually had maybe your mom was nuts <laughs> maybe there's a reason why your dad's no no longer in the family or was no longer in the picture and it wasn't because he was a son of a bitch it was because he was doing what was right for him and what was best for him at that time maybe he was in the same dile similar dilemma that you're in right now i'm not saying that's so true but i'm just saying those are the things that these guys are thinking about so um devil mountain coffee fuels this show fueled by devil mountain coffee People are going to think Gillette is like the sponsor for my shows. Um, no, so, so yeah, uh, let me put this back again so I can get you. Um, take away the sense potential. Okay, well, yes and no. I think they take away the potential in the sense that uh, when a single mother or a, let's just say a dominant, like a domineering mother, it could be still married to dad, but like a domineering mother and a son who kind of knuckles under to all of that, who is grossly influenced by that, that woman is, well, first of all, she's living vicariously through the guy. Now, the other thing is she's, in my estimate, okay, I'm giving you my my take, my understanding of this, is that when women do that, when mothers do that, they're trying to forge that boy into the man that the their husband or their, uh, like their idealized guy could never be. Or the one that got away. May I, here's the first thing. If you're, if you're, if you're a, if you're the son of a single mother, um, ask yourself what, okay, what's your name? Okay. And is that name the same name as some boy or some boy or some boyfriend or some guy that she kid, she's still pining for back in the day, the one that got away. If the guy who's the out, she's alpha widowed by some guy named Mike and your name happens to be Mike, you might have want to have a conversation with mom, <laughs> uh, because that's not uncommon, not as uncommon as a lot of people want to think. Because and what? Okay, so I've I talked about that, and people just lose their minds whenever I say that. You know, women will name their sons the name of the guy that they real not their not their husbands, not their you know not their dads, not anybody that they know in their family, but they will name their male children after the boyfriend, after the guy who made the most significant alpha impact on their lives. So it was a boyfriend, and usually the guy 
who is, I mean, that's a semi way of getting cucked, I guess, in a, in a sense, because, well, I couldn't get with Mike because he was the, you know, he was the alpha that wouldn't commit. But now that I'm with John over here, uh, at the very least, I can name my son, uh, uh, you know, Mike and sort of get that sort of vicarious feel. So really what happens is it's, it's, it's men or excuse me, it's women trying to create men that that woman idealizes. And so what is that? And that's really the, the question. Is she trying to turn you into, uh, or is she limiting your potential? Well, why is she doing that? Well, because maybe she thinks that in limiting your potential or directing your life in a certain way, uh, that's going to turn you into the man that she could never lock down back in the day. So something to think about, something to think about. Uh, did I get anybody else? What's this? I see a lot of men in the suburbs married to dominant women. Yes. Battle acts and training. Yeah. You know what? Thank you. Here you go. You know, you get, um, you get that. Yeah. Domineering women are, you know, people have asked me that in the past. Too. Who's a uh, power of chi? People have asked me that in the past too. They will say like, um, why is, um, what, what's worse? What's worse? Maybe this is a good question for everybody. What's worse? Is it worse to have a mother and a father and they're married, but mom is a domineering kind of like, you know, overbearing bitch, right? Is an overbearing like personality. And dad is kind of like, you know, meek. And, and he's like, he's like the beta male. And she would probably have loved to have got with the guy who's much more, you know, who has, uh, who matches her and exceeds her in her dominant personality. Is it worse to have that as a mom or is it worse to have, uh, to be raised by a single mother? 